Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what is most obviously very crucially important. Today on This Is Important... Audience, they just start whipping it out, flicking the bean, cranking down, right? Right there in their seats. Fucking down with the thickness! An airline toilet I am not eating out of, because those are fucking ran train on. And what is the horniest steak sauce? Let's go! Woo! Back, 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 back! God damn, I cannot believe it's Glob. Dude, I was just looking uh, at my phone and I got the weirdest headline, which was Victor Webanyama. The, uh, the, when, is it Wenbanyana? Mm, Wembenyana. The basketball player. This. Wembenyana. When Wembenyana. Wem- it's going to take me like Yana. four seasons like Giannis and the Kumpo. Uh, mm-hmm. It's gonna take. It's gonna take me like four seasons to Tune be nice. able to say that man's name correctly. Victor Wembanyama uh, mm-hmm. was coming out of Catch Restaurant, and Britney Spears was there. And uh-huh. I guess she goes up to Victor and oh, yeah. and goes uh, in her British accent, which because yes, she sir. was talking in a British accent is what the article said. But she was like, "Excuse me, sir. Uh-huh. Excuse me, sir. Uh-huh. May I have a photo?" And Allegedly. then she like grabbed his shoulder to like take a photo mm-hmm. and uh, or like, I guess his waist maybe. And uh, th- his head of security backhanded her across the face. Slapped oh her. Dude. Hold up. Slap B Spears. Yeah. A- oh, really? Slap Britney Spears? Whoa, not Britney, dude. Did they not know it was Britney Spears because of the accent? Do you think that's kind of what happened? Like, like, do you think that's... Yeah, that threw them, dude. They're like this British lady that looks like a Britney Spears. Yeah, that's Whoa. justifiable. Oh. Also, I don't know if Britney Spears is really looking how you remember Britney Spears right, right now. Well, it still doesn't give them a... Shouldn't hit her. I would say maybe don't slap. No, you're right. I know. That's the... I feel like a... a Ma'am... Do not touch him uh, yeah. would probably suffice. A stern ma'am. Right. A stern ma'am. Or like yeah. just maybe moving her gently out of the way. Mm, right. But yeah. to be f- but to be fair to this guy. You got to assume that Victor Webinyama's security has to be giant men. For sure. But right. to be right. fair to this guy. Yeah. Let's be fair now. You know. Yeah. She's like a little terrier, man. He 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 had he couldn't take any risks. This is Purple Sound. What? Because she might bite his ankles. He's protecting the future of the NBA. That is true. Hey, that is true. That is true. That is true. That is true. My goodness, but he's assaulting the fucking icon of pop music. So mm-hmm. I don't know. It's God against a god. Yeah, that's fucking weird. No matter how it is, you're backhanding in the face. Is that what it said? That's that's not right. It's never right. It's never right. Okay. That's. I mean, yeah, that's what it said. Yeah. Who knows? We we. So, is there a lawsuit happening? Is she about to? I don't know. I think it just happened last night. I don't know if. Uh... Wow, this is the most. This is like so. It'll be by this time. We'll have it ha- hashed out by the time the yeah. pod drops for sure. This is the most current event we've ever talked about on this podcast. Yeah, but this is going to air in like two weeks. Yeah, this this is... episode, so uh... <laughs> <laughs> in two weeks. So <laughs> it's cold. It's a cold story. Oh fuck! <laughs> right. What happened this morning? <sighs> Uh, coming on ice. We're now, coming on ice. Do you guys, <laughs> okay. Restaurants like Catch are like hilarious to me because it's like, what's that? Yeah, because the food's not really that good, and and you're just there to like <laughs> see famous people. Yeah, like it's. Is that what that is? It's like a trap. Yes. Well, okay. What is it? It's a trap, but yeah. Have you ever been to Catch? Restaurant, Blake? What is it? Like a fish place? Is it a fish place? I no, not at all. It yeah. Sounds terrible. Is it a baseball? I think you've been there, Blake, but probably for like a after party of a thing. Yeah, I think you've been there. I, I yes, I think you've been there. This is in Hollywood or it's in Vegas? Yeah, it's, no, it's in Hollywood. It's off pizza, of uh, La Siena and Melrose. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's on like the second floor. It's like a rooftop feel. It actually it's like a good scene, but it's it or like a. It actually looks cool, yeah. and it's like nice up there. 
but mm. it is more of a nightclub than a restaurant. Like I ate there once and was like, it tastes like this isn't, per- I mean, it's not like bad, but it's not particularly great for how much it is. You're like, right. let's just roll pizza, to the cheesecake pizza. factor and fuck some chicken littles up, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. The let's cheesecake go. Factor. <laughs> um, 69 dudes. But I do love that people just are like, I guess we go to catch. Right. <laughs> Well, it's for people out of town that want to see Victor Webinyama and Britney Spears. No, but I'm I'm saying like, right. why is Victor Webinyama even going there? Because like, he's new to everything. He wanted to see Britney Spears. He, you gotta, you gotta take a hot lap of everything and see what you like and what you don't like. And also hot, those, hot, those hot, NBA hot. stars, they go to all the clubs and just and just women hang off them like the, they are human monkey bars. Mm, Very you know? shagadelic. Yeah, One like they're a little that. little treehouse. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah. They build the little tree house and the number one NBA prospect. I hope he turns out to be great because yeah, it's I... been pretty bad lately. Like the the people who will get all the pressure put on them, whether it's Zion or whoever, like people get injured. You know, it's it's a, a total bummer. Yeah. Their bodies fail. Ja, ja plays fantastic, but can't stop pulling guns out. Dude, well, he's got to do it. Can't stop it, dude. Who who can stop that? You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, that's true. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. What can you do? Yeah. Well, I have yeah. another really hot, 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 hot news story that I feel okay, wasn't being covered, press. but by the time it's coming out now, <laughs> it may have been covered. Oh my god! But this is what up? That's like the news ticker. Go ahead. Are you guys aware that mm-hmm. a lot of buildup? Sriracha. Is a shortage. Not, is, yeah. It's like not available. It hasn't been available yep. for like the last three months. Yep, yep. Unaware of this. Unaware. What? What? What's the deal? Very aware. I buy sriracha often, uh, oh. and very aware of this. I would. There was another shortage about two years ago. Mm-hmm. And, oh my god! Uh, I I weathered that storm. Mm-hmm. And I bought so much sriracha that I still have sriracha. Well, you know that right now they're saying that bottles of sriracha they're selling for like seventy two dollars. Like you can really, you can flip that shit. We right know now. Blake knows the aftermarket. Yeah, seventy two dollars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, you can you can flip that shit on the, on the bay. You're you're selling that on uh, Szechuan Market. You're you're gonna sell some t shirts. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> my connect. My connect, dude. Fucking don't even d- hold up. Hold up. Don't if you have sriracha right now, don't even sell the bottle. Sell fucking drops. Sell okay. meals worth and fucking break that shit and make more cash. Okay. okay let's go. Mm-hmm. Split it. Yeah, I guess you would. What you do? Okay. Hey, college kid, listen to this. You mm-hmm. need some extra coin. Okay. Mm-hmm. Here's here's a little hack. Mm-hmm. You get, you make a little packets of it. Mm-hmm. Of yes. Little sriracha packets. I love it. And you just mm-hmm. yes. dole it out like that. Like di- dime bags? You make a sticker of your... You make a sticker. Little dime bags. Dime bags. Exactly, Durs. Dime mm-hmm. bags of sriracha, baby. Yes, that's, that's where you get... Because I want it to... So here's the thing. Sriracha, there's other sriracha brands. It's just none of them compare to what I call cock sauce. It's the one with like the rooster yes. on it. That's, that's like the, the best. That's the best one by far. Yes, because like... You call it that, or is it not called that? The other sriracha I I I own, uh-huh. and other sriracha, oh. it's like sweet tasting. I'm like, I don't want my sriracha sweet. It's mm-hmm. got to be spicy. It's got to be fiery. Good. Yeah, and I had to. Th- I tried the 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 Tabasco sriracha. It's a little too, you know, tangy. It's just not the exact same. It's weird. Not the same. All the off-brand sriracha's can't nail it. It's kind mm. of like with like ketchup. You know how. Heinz, yeah. well, guys, let's say it with me, Heinz ketchup, right? We're all Heinz guys here, right? We don't have any, we don't have any Huntsmen. <laughs> Do we have any Hunts guys on here? Because you can hit the road. Heinz, Heinz, Heinz fifty-seven, <laughs> baby, Heinz fifty-seven. Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, guilty. No, I'm a guilty as charged. No, no, a hey, guilty. I don't. I honestly don't know what. Guilty on the Heinz, baby. 
I don't know what uh, what ketchup I am. I feel like I don't even the fuck. Well, go to your fridge oh right God. now and look at your ketchup. Yeah, we got. What do you mean, it. dude? I'm, I can't wait to see what's up. Yeah, he's a Heinz boy. You know, if you don't have Heinz, you're an absolute fucking joke, man. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you're a dork. Disaster, you're an absolute guy. dork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, Dorcas. <laughs> 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 like nothing <laughs> it, it is crazy it is the one and then mustard it's like it could be anybody any any yellow mustard well french french is kind of well mustard i think french is is kind of holding it down i think i think yeah but if you get if you get heinz mustard it tastes the same as french's that is kind of true well just yellow though does it the, the disparity between the mustards is not as as great as right. between the ketchups less ingredients less sugar too you know what Adam? i mean oh boy oh boy oh boy uh oh if you say hunts i'm gonna bust a nut <laughs> oh my god he's a heinz gentleman <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be some whole foods organic <laughs> bullshit that's my guess <laughs> three six five fuck that why what? do you think it's whole food have, or, how am I organic, dude? I'm not organic. Because it's just maybe Chloe Dog was at the market. It's just where you shop. I'm thinking that Chloe shopped no. for it. You got some Erewhon shit. Yeah. You no, got no. It. Or you're going to hold up a bucket of Hines at three guys. Okay. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm yes. a <laughs> Absolutely. It's not that low sugar shit. It's not the organic kind. It's straight. Nah, dude. The real deal. Ooh. The real the high <laughs> fructose corn <laughs> scissor. God, I live, I live for this shit, you guys. This is fucking cool. We got this one. This is cool, guys. This is cool. We got another one. Salute to Heinz. I mean, what are even the other ketchups? I've said Hunts, but Hunts is for See you next Tuesdays, if I may mm -hmm. say. What else uh, is there? There's is fancy. Oh, <laughs> please don't say the word. Please don't say the word. Oh, oh, I put it together though. I did. Is fancy ketchup? Is that a brand of ketchup? Or are they just saying like this ketchup is fancy? Because I remember seeing fancy ketchup. I think that's I just that fancy is. ketchup. I don't think it's a brand. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. So there's two ketchups. I like the classic Heinz, and then. And then I feel like I also have Heinz mustard too. Then we were right. just talking about. We were just kind of talking about that. I, we were wondering about Heinz versus French's because yeah. French's is what comes to my mind when I think about mustard. Sure. Me as well. I feel like that's that's what you put on the the hot dogs. I think like, French has mm -hmm. really leaned into the hot do, dog of it mm -hmm. all. Do you guys ever do this little snack with mustard? Do you ever uh -oh. take like just regular mm. potato chips and dip them in a little mustard? No, uh -oh. <laughs> I don't. I eat because I'm unhappy. I don't mind that. I put that on. Um, I like I like to eat pretzel crisps. And huh. dip it into some mustard. Pretzels huh. and mustard. I get them pre-dusted. Yeah. Honey mustard. Yes, 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 Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Pretzels. And we're talking um a Snyder's. We're talking a Snyder pretzel, I'm guessing. No, we're talking roll gold or whatever it is, right? Wow. Wow, oh. dude. Mm. And I go I go pretzel crisp. I like the crisp. Pretzel crisp. Whoa. Pretzels with wow, mustard is dude. fucking probably great. Yeah. That's proven. So wait. What's the number, what is your number one preferred pretzel, not brand, we can get into brand. Uh-huh. Okay, this shit's important. Or you can say, you can say brand, but then also like shape, like deliveries, like uh -huh. pretzel, pretzel rod, important. stick, big pretzel, big thick pretzel, the tiny little ones. I know what I like. What? I know what I like. I know what I like. <laughs> I know what I like. What? I like the thin sticks, Okay. Okay, we hope thin so. Thin sticks, uh? I like the thin sticks, dude. Yeah. Those are... Okay. Because you like to act like it's a little penis. <laughs> oh, Wait, yeah. Burn. Yeah, you like to act like it's a tiny penis and you're like... Yeah, Adam, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Adam, that's it. That's You got me. How, where, does he come up, where does he come up with this stuff? Yeah. Boy, no, boy. when I was a kid, I used to like to act like they were cigarettes. Oh. I used to be like... <laughs> this guy is sick and twisted. Let's go. Oh... Ashing Burn. them after you take a little bite, then you could do the little ash and some crumbs would yeah. come out. You know what I used to do with the little stick ones? I honestly, I would suck on them. I would suck on them until the... <laughs> I know. I knew. I knew one of us was. <laughs> I knew one of us was. <laughs> no, you <laughs> suck them. them. Dude, you suck the salt <laughs> off. Oh my and then God. You, yeah. you, I bet you do. You suck them until like... No, bite the salt. You. I knew one of us was. I knew one of us was. <laughs> 
dude, come on, you guys have never sucked the pretzel. <laughs> And then the skin. You bite the salt off with your little front teeth. You don't yeah. suck them. Yes, but then you suck it and the, bra- the brown layer starts to come mm. off. Oh! oh! And exposes the white layer. And it, then if you suck it long enough, it gets so soft it starts to dissolve. Isn't that like a Lil Wayne lyric? You want to suck <laughs> the brown off? Yeah, probably. <laughs> off the pretzel? <laughs> No. Yeah, off my pretzel rod, so to speak. Like a lollipop. Bite the little salts and. <laughs> so Blake, with that, with uh, Blake, with that, like a pretzel stick. With that method of uh-huh. your pretzel uh, sucking, do you like the thicker pretzels or the thinner pretzels? Like, because you, you know they have. The... Do you like them long or do you like them thick? Thicker. The thicker. They have thicker the, uh... pretzel rods. Well, for me, how veiny do you like your? Cu- for me, yeah. <laughs> pretzel rods. <laughs> Naked grandma. They're thicker. Thicker pretzel rods. For me, the pre- the pretzel rod, the big ones, those are a little too girthy, a little too much pretzel for me. <laughs> yeah, your your tiny little taut mouth can't wrap it, wrap your lips around. Yeah, it's not the size of the pretzel. It's but what about like thick, huh. soft pretzels? That's different. Thick and soft. I prefer them hard and crunchy. Yeah, like a soggy, limp pretzel. <laughs> nah, <laughs> no, unless it's pretzel bites. <laughs> so wait, hang on. Do you like to suck them until they get soft and limp afterwards? No, they don't get limp. <laughs> that's what he said. That's his words. I think that's what he said. <laughs> when- <laughs> that's what he said. Let's go. Uh, I'm nice. a pretzel crisp kind of guy. So I like a crisp. Those are the chips. Like, what is- yeah, you keep saying that. Which is what? Those are They're like chips. Yeah, Let's they're, they're, they're go. Like, they're like chips, but they're all made of pretzels the, the 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 flat ones they're like a they're like a little square fence looking thing no those are the no they just look like they're 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 flattened they're like this they're like chips are they circles no i i don't even they're, they're oh, are they oh, are, they, are they shaped about? like o's they come in that big giant white bag yes and they have yeah they come in a they have hot wing they have uh but they're shaped like a pretzel yeah they have garlic parmesan yes they're just flat as, uh, just flattened yes and they are delicious yeah they they come like uh okay okay mm-hmm. okay they're delicious yes i got them i like the salt and pepper personally that's my favorite mm Mm. And that's probably the newest delivery system for pretzels, right? Yeah, that's the new. Sh- that's the new yeah. shit. Well, that's like a chip. It, it's like flat, like a chip, but looks like a pretzel. Is that what we're talking about right now? Correct. <laughs> Correct. It, imagine a pretzel that just got steamrolled. It's blowing Kyle's mind. He can't even open his eyes. What a He's trash. thinking so hard about uh, <laughs> these pretzel crisps. <laughs> Water trip. Yes. That, yes. Okay. The worst has got to be the nuggets, right? The little pretzel nuggets. I, I'm not. Oh, like the loaves? The little loaves? They look like. Yeah, those are not. Yeah. I mean, when those are soft, they're cool. But when uh, they're hard, I'm like. Oh, yeah. Those are the worst. Yes. Pretzel bites go off. Like little Duncan Wetzel pretzel bites. I will dunk the fuck out of those, bro. Kyle, there you go. So you, you don't yeah, have yeah. to tax your brain anymore. <laughs> <laughs> me me this is a picture for me can i glob on to this y'all <laughs> yeah i'm globbing on oh yeah these are definitely the newest incarnation of pretzel uh pretzel food don't they have yeah. the everything bagel version of this oh, or yeah. something that is, those oh, are yeah, so yeah. good dude mm-hmm. yeah the those buffalo are... wings are also very yummy like, you know what i like to do i like oh. to get the originals and i just i just dip them in a jar of peanut butter like a freaking maniac whoa dude. whoa whoa yeah yeah. Oh, peanut butter is a good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, I go. I go hummus. I'm a big hummus boy. Oh on my, yeah. On my pretzel crisps. Wow. Okay, wait. Pretzels and hummus. But, yeah, for sure. Why not? Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. This is crazy, to me. <laughs> it is the pretzel logic, which is a great Steely Dan. And Kyle, did you go? You like the little sticks? Little sticks. <laughs> oh, Steely Dan, baby. This is real. <laughs> <laughs> What? This is a great Steely Dan album, but you know something that I do not fuck with in the pretzel world? I don't fuck with pretzel buns, dude. Not at all. Not well, a they, freaking all. I think huh, there's a real... They're too <laughs> tough. Nice. Aren't they too tough? I just think it's like a lot of for hullabaloo, you? but like it's a lot of buildup yeah. for like something... That's about to be good, but it just ends yeah. up being dry with like a little salt on top or something. Well, 
I think it. I think I. I know what you're saying. There was like a time where Wendy's was like, "We do pretzel buns now." Uh -huh. on, right? Uh -huh. It was big. I it was a lot. If you're gonna have bacon on a burger, there was usually a pretzel bun uh -huh. squeezing it. It was a one-two combo, and I was always let down by the pretzel bun of it all. I gotta tell you though, if Adam comes back with pretzel buns, boy, I might. That just, shit's important. I might just suck the rod. <laughs> I'm gonna suck the brown off it, bro. <laughs> I might suck the brown off the rod. Give me that salt. Pretzel buns are good on sliders. <laughs> pretzel so buns are hungry. great. Pretzel bun uh, sliders, like with ham sandwiches. Ham here is. Yeah, that's what. I, but I'm saying, <laughs> it's not as good as a fucking Hawaiian roll. Like, give me Hawaiian rolls. A Hawaiian roll. A Hawaiian roll. No, oh, dude, coming from Hawaii, bro, we were all about our Hawaiian dude. rolls, and they're the fucking best, dog. Really? Yeah, of course, dude. On the fourth, I made sliders, had some Hawaiian rolls. Ooh. Adam, this is the way. Adam, show me those pretzel, those pretzel rolls, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't go get the pretzels uh, it. because oh. I, the, it's here. Where'd you, you go? See what they are. Well, I just was thinking we're talking about all this these products that we we love. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Well, pretzel products, pretzel products, <laughs> and uh, I don't hot, know hot, if hot, Blake hot. had these because they're pretty fucking new. They just came on the market, oh. but it's it's Ashland. So oh, we have okay. the Ashland uh, spirits, which are the fucking shit. Okay, hot, uh, hot, hot, you got to get dirt some of these because I think you would you would like these. Good, I think you'd good. I think you'd mess with these ones. Yeah, we'd switch your vote. Now, can you explain to me like these are better? E explain to me what's going on with them. What's the deal? Uh, these are these are just vodka seltzers. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not hard seltzer. Isn't made with vodka. It's like brewed right. it's like a, a like a beer. It's yes. a malt, right? Oh, oh. And this is made with vodka. And right. They taste, they taste great. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then uh, these. Are such a banger, mm -hmm. uh, Voyage uh, Hard Ice Teas, mm -hmm. and they have this is a peach one which I really fuck with. Okay, but they also have uh, like uh. a lemonade, and it just tastes like an Arnold Palmer. <laughs> I with, love uh, it. I love it, and right. they're fucking good. Dude. And yeah. how many ounces is that big ass can? Yeah, that's a big ass can, dude. This is a twenty-four. This is a twenty-four big boy. Woo! Da -da damn. Damn, what is that, son, five? where'd you find that? Whoa, damn, I want to suck the blue off that can, man. <laughs> that is big. <laughs> yeah, you want to slob this one down. <laughs> but just for the record, yes, sir. No, you got no pretzel buns in the house. No I pretzels. got no pretzel buns. Okay. No. Uh, Anything I knew pretzel? you guys thought I was going to go grab those, but uh, yeah. I did. And also, I wanted to ask, did you guys, do you guys have this? The crisscross. Yeah. The crisscross press. I don't like the those. The squares. What is it? Oh, what is going yeah. on? Did you guys get this yet? Because I'm sending them to, to all y'all. Here we go. My guy, product, product toss over here. No. I did get that. I got the bag from Nina, the Outlaws Netflix bag. It came with a little rose. Outlaws. Dude. When? When I get that, I'm traveling with that bag, oh, bro. Yeah. That is my fucking bag. Yeah. TSA is going to have your ass. Are you, <laughs> you're now? Well, step right over here. Right. Sir. Oh, they're going to stop me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Come Wait, it comes with, dude, just sent you money? Yeah. Tons of Cash money, ish? dude. Wow. Dude, you guys are going to get my Oscar vote for sure. Yeah, they're paying off. What is that? Is that a DVD? <laughs> yeah, it's DVD with DVD extras. Is that a DVD from Netflix? I love it. Yeah, they're, they're in the DVD business now. Can you believe it? I don't think it is. Look at this. Rosé. I think it was just a piece of That's paper, actually, actually Nina's wine brand, right? She has um some points. On the back mm. end for that or something? <laughs> yeah, she uh, mm. yeah she owns. Uh, it's called Fresh Vine Wine, and Nina and her friend Julian Huff, uh, they own that that together. And uh, smart, yeah. They they put <laughs> these these sick little bags together, which was kind of nice. Damn, we need to start a wine brand. Did I send you my address? I remember when you texted. I did, right? Yes, you did. You did. Yeah, mm -hmm. it might be coming. Yeah. It might be on its way. My number's still nine one one. Yeah, absolutely, baby. <laughs> Do not. Come. Oh boy. Yeah, so we got we got stuff in the mail, baby. Yeah. Now, Blake, what are we? What's the? What are we doing here? We're drinking a lot of water. I've noticed. Oh well, it's just a uh, Fourth of July recovery, but I have incorporated the Nalgene lifestyle into my lifestyle. You know, it's just like. What does that mean, Nalgene? That bottle. That's a water bottle from the 90s. Yeah, you try oh. to finish how many of these? Like five a day to reach your, your like water quota. But oh, it's yeah, or you just red solo cup. How how many ounces? Because I've I fuck I've 
I fuck a giant. Uh, I, I fuck up a giant oh. solo cup. No, you said you fuck it. Go ahead. You said you fuck <laughs> it. And now we know. I fuck it. I fuck this cup and my dick fits in there perfectly. I believe the amount of water you're supposed to drink per day is your weight converted to ounces halved. Mm. Or not converted, fuck but it. just pounds go ounces and then half of that. Mm. This is important. Does that make sense? No. Will you explain it? Pound, pounds go ounces? What? That shit's important. So if like for me, I weigh, I weigh. Yeah, make it more confusing, please, so that no one does it. I weigh two. I weigh. I weigh two twenty, two twenty two right now. Okay, so. Oh my damn, God. son. <laughs> so half that <laughs> one eleven. He's a brick. Ounce <laughs> one eleven, and then Fuck and one hundred eleven ounces is what I'm supposed to be drinking bare minimum every day. Can of fanny. Wow, one hundred and eleven ounces, and what? How, how many? I don't. I don't even know what that is. Holy shit! That's that's almost two gallons, right? Or is a gallon sixty four or one twenty eight? I can't remember. But uh, you're supposed to drink like ten cans of water, essentially. You're supposed to drink a fuck ton of water. Yeah, you're supposed to drink more than you would think. I'll yeah. tell you that much. Can I tell you something? There's no way. <laughs> There's 128 ounces in a gallon. So I'm supposed to drink a gallon of water every day. That's what I'm... No <laughs> one is supposed to drink that. Not in the history of humans has any human... That doesn't seem like... That doesn't seem like a lot to me. I drink that every day. The cause day, of diarrhea. Without a doubt. <laughs> you drink a gallon of water a day? I drink so I'm much water like every here. day. I filled this up probably 12 times. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a lot. A yeah. gallon feels like I would finish a gallon every day no matter what. You guys are insane. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I will say that I recently saw about these Nalgene bottles that supposedly they are like. What do you mean you saw saw about them? What does that mean? Like on my man started reading. <laughs> <laughs> like I saw a story about them that they have. What's so special about these bottles? It's just like well, a bottle to put it in. Let him like, talk. Dude, they've been yeah. around for a long time. They've been around like the Nalgene movement. And you haven't seen people carrying this around like. Like dodos? Well, yeah, I just to, thought... Durr said 90s. Durr said 90s a second that, ago, and that fucking tripped my ass out. They've been around for a while. That was like <laughs> the currency at our high school were those fucking bottles. Yes, but I heard... That's trippy to me. Dude, tripped, tripped Kyle out. I read a story or saw... I saw online or something that they have more germs on them than like a public toilet. Like they're they're very disgusting. And uh, well, you got it, dude. You know what you have to do to it? Wash it, put it in the dishwasher, yeah. and like, yeah, I, I did okay. hear that yeah, you okay. are supposed to wash them after every you rub a dog's asshole on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't fist your dog's asshole with it and then still drink, <laughs> <laughs> it's a drink out of it. Unfortunately, a dog's asshole is cleaner than the human's mouth. Like, a dog's asshole? I mean, I don't wash it every day, I probably should, but ever since reading that story, I haven't. You should. The, um, the amount of bacteria that's growing inside of that thing, you'd be surprised, Playboy. Yeah, but it makes you stronger. You you eat it, and then it's in your body, and it eats. Yeah, dude, who gives a shit? You're fine. I like that. I can get behind that. I'm into that. Yeah, and again, you know, they didn't specify what kind of public toilet. Some public toilets are way more dirty than others, right? Like, I wouldn't True. want what? to. You read it. Uh, we don't know. And would you, yeah, would you eat a donut out of this public toilet? or? <laughs> no. It's science. Oh, God, Adam, remember that shit? You fucking did that. Let's go. <laughs> like, like, if you. <laughs> Bacteria. I was going to do the question, if you had to mm -hmm. eat out of a toilet, what toilet would it be? Like a public toilet. But you kind of have already done that. So, because like. Air so sick. And by the way, what what is even an example of an answer to that question? Yeah, like I just think like an air airport and airline toilet. No. I'm not eating out of because those are fucking ran train on. Those are like yeah. Well, I'm not eating out. What's the one that you would? What what is a public toilet that you would eat out of? Well, I have to think about it. I'm okay. Like maybe a yoga studio. I I think it would be like. Diarrhea. Is that public? Oh, a yoga studio, dude? They, they all do public? hot yoga and just go and then just fucking dude. hose shit out of their ass. And Spray <laughs> vegan diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. I don't even think that's fucking considered public. I think that's a private toilet. That is a toilet, yeah. yeah. Uh, diarrhea. Dude, I feel like maybe a library. <laughs> We're the library back. Oh, that's good. <laughs> a rural. Library's smart. No, library's bad. 
That's homeless people. That's so much homeless diarrhea, dude. No, library <laughs> smart. No, dude, no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have it. I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay, so shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That's smart, Adam. I'm proud of you. It's not smart. Just because there's books doesn't make it smart, bitch. <laughs> it's so fucking smart, dude. No, 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 no. It is. Dude, it is. It's a <laughs> library in uh-huh. rural Nebraska. Okay? Oh, it's a library in the Midwest, not in a big city. There's not a ton of homeless people. So smart. Because you're right. A library in California, it's just a ton of homeless people jacking off at the public Wi-Fi computers. Not depending on where you are, you know what I mean? But like, yeah. not all California, universal. but I think, I think that's probably the cleanest public toilet out there is the library. Absolutely not. Absolutely would, not. Is a Omaha library? Absolutely not. No, just a library. No, no, no. Uh, not even, not even a smaller town outside of Omaha. Just any library. No, it's a doctor's office. That's not public. That's not public, dude. Well, how is it not public? You're fucking don't understand what public and (laughs) private is, dude. And it's fucking pissing me and Adam (laughs) off. Yeah. (laughs) If I can walk through the doors and take a shit, it's public. You can walk into a doctor's office and fucking run. No, you can't. Huh? Uh? You can't just walk in a doctor's office and take a shit. Have you been doing this? Have you? uh, Okay, Blake, please. But I would assume. No. Dude, you no. they will go, excuse me, why are you here? Do you have an appointment? And you'll go, I'm just here to take a shit. And they'll go, please leave. No, you How's can't that do for that, appointment, sir? motherfucker? <laughs> Turn around. No. Yeah. Turn around. Pretty good. Unless you need an x-ray, <laughs> you're not using the toilet. I'm going to need. <laughs> yeah. Hey, are you covered in shit? <laughs> yeah. The only way you're going to take a shit is you have to be covered in shit in order yeah. for them to allow you through. <laughs> Listen to last week's pod. I'm already halfway done, so if you could just (laughs) let me finish, I'd like to use your restroom, please. Let Let me finish. Okay, I got to really think about what it would be then. Damn, a public restroom. You do. You do. Because Adam nailed it. What about Target? What about Target? Is that a public restroom? It is, but dude, Target? No, dude. (laughs) What about like an Apple store? Ooh, good answer. Good answer. I don't think Apple stores have bathrooms available mm. i don't think that's a Had, i think that's I, they don't not a not any not Diary. any apple store i've been in. <laughs> i peed wait so like uh you can't but i've never asked i've never asked if i pooped i've never i've never asked either well i don't think you can i don't think you can just go to the uh, apple store and of the apple stores i've been in but we just said target there's no bathroom they don't have bathrooms well, I'm sorry. Hang on. We said Target. Target has bathrooms. Right. Well, they do. Apple stores have bathrooms. I just don't know. I don't know if they're open to the public. Do do they? I mean, I also think that technically both of those are private bathrooms. I think you need to be purchasing something. So then, then Target's got to be off the table. So what the fuck is a then? What's a public bathroom? But Starbucks, Starbucks is like an exception to the rule. Would you buy a laptop to take a shit somewhere? Dude, public is a public like the like city council. Like that is a public because <laughs> you pay, mm-hmm. pay your taxes so it can run much right. like a post office, but, much, much like a DMV, much like a police station. So a poli- what about a police station? Yeah. The House of Repre- the House of Representatives. Yeah. But wait, <laughs> like yeah. A, what about a police station? I bet those toilets are pretty nice to eat out wait, of. No, they're not. Yeah. That's like <laughs> hard black coffee and okay. dookies. No, they're not, Blake. Do not eat out of a police station toilet. <laughs> That's just Chipotle. Diarrhea. You know, and like cops, remember when cops just parlayed from donuts to Chipotle? Dude, fucking bunch of cops assholes just fucking hosing down this bathroom? No. Um, wait, but public <laughs> bathroom, like, I mean, if, if you're in a stadium, like, that's a public bathroom, right? Oh. So isn't it a b- bathroom at an a- Apple store? But you did pay to get in. So, uh, you you did pay to get in. Yeah, I think Target is a public bathroom. I know. So if I get some, like, uh, new uh, headphone tips at the... <laughs> <laughs> right, it's, right. It's well, not, okay. it's so not, that's, uh, it's not uh, public because you do have to pay to get into the stadium. The word we're looking for is, like, communal bathroom. What's the cleanest communal bathroom that you would sure, eat off of, right? Sure. No, that's not the word we're looking for. <laughs> oh, oh, Dodger Stadium. Diarrhea. Dodger Stadium. Is this, the, is this not the word we're looking for? <laughs> Wait, I got it. I got it. Dude, I have the answer. I have the final answer. A church. 
A church bathroom. Uh, take me to church. Uh, 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 take me to church. church. Oh, shit. I don't think so. I don't think so. They're underused. I feel like they're underused. People are afraid to shit in the house of God. There's no way. People are shitting in you, the house of God. Oh, yeah. You're praying I, that it comes out clean. More than Target? Dude, anytime I've ever been to a church, I shit. Had to shit. Yeah. Gotta get the demons out. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Gotta exercise the demons. Diarrhea. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. But it's probably a holy shit. It's probably a clean shit. Holy a shit. holy shit. Yes, points. <laughs> holy, it's shit. Probably... <laughs> holy shit. How did it, it was just right <laughs> yes, there? Yes, points. Oh, he, just, wow. he just threw that away. Damn, like, man. Like, wow. I didn't even know it was coming out of my mouth. It was like a pretzel stick. Must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. And the callback <laughs> does not land. But hey, you had uh, ah, whatever. It reminded me of a simpler time, and I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Damn, man. Yeah, I'm going to suck the brown. <laughs> Where else can we take a shit? Let's, can we milk this for 22 more? Yeah, I think we could maybe think a, a couple more places we could shit, but I mean, yeah. church was the number one answer. But this is eating. This was eating out of the toilet. That's what we were talking about, which is just nasty and gross and shame on us for even talking about it, honestly, you know? Right, 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 right. Yeah, I don't like that anymore. That's yucky. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, shame for important. shame. Shame. Mm, yeah, I'm, Ugh. I'm so off that question. What about like a Sephora? Ooh. Can you use can you use the bathroom at a Sephora? I don't know, dude. I feel like Sephora chicks are taking huge fucking dumps, dude. <laughs> like bad. Like really like nervous energy shits. Like they feel a little <laughs> <laughs> They feel. <laughs> keep going. Keep, Go ahead. Yeah, keep it yeah, up. You feel you you feel this. I feel like I Sephora think, workers. Yeah, I don't think you're wrong. I don't think you're wrong. <laughs> you but feel this. It is I feel like Sephora workers tend to be like a little scatterbrained, a little like uptight. They uh, wait till they're. As soon brain. as you said Sephora, instantly I was hit with waves of gross anxiety. Shit. <laughs> you know I worked for Sephora. You did? Tell me more. Yes, yes, because my what? aunt used to work for Sephora, and when they were opening a store in the Bay Area in Walnut Creek, they Blake in full makeup, like <laughs> welcome to Sephora. <laughs> well, hello, bitch. <laughs> with like lash extension. <laughs> Would you like a makeover? <laughs> And like cat eyes. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome <You're> gonna... <laughs> to Sephora. <laughs> you had to wear all black. <laughs> Dude, no, I wasn't actually on the floor while the store was open. We got the store ready. <laughs> yeah. They're like, we're about to open. Get out of here, you ugly <laughs> <laughs> the night shift. Dude, honestly, hide the troll. The night shift at Sephora. <laughs> hide the troll. Honest equal employers. Get the pervert off the floor. They're equal employers and <laughs> let me do it, all right? I just had to like straighten my hair and wear all black. It was cool. Uh -huh. Shout out so, to my so Aunt what Jane. did you do? What did you do for Sephora? So we like stocked the shelves. It was before the store actually opened. So Dope. And when, oh. this was like when you're in, I didn't know that store existed that long ago. I thought it was like within like the last 10 or 15 years that Sephora. Sephora? Sephora's got to be 30. Adam, you got to remember, he's a coastal elite, right? He gets things before we did in the Midwest. Yeah, yeah. That is true. As a coastal elite, it, it hit there first. And also, this is not as long ago as you may think. It wasn't high school. I was definitely like, I think at OCC and then it was like a summer job. I flew home and then Oh, you you came home all summer when we were at OCC? I didn't I didn't know that. I think I would take large large trips back. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I think I would take large shits at Sephora. <laughs> <laughs> I would take huge fucking dumps at Sephora. The cause of diarrhea. <laughs> and so when you were there, you were like so you'd go back from college. Yeah. Uh all all just tied up your guts are all tied up from all the bean burritos and all the do yeah. del taco and shit that you're eating from god yeah wiener oh, schedule god. tied up and then you start to work at brc burrito you start to eat Ow. at uh or you start to work at sephora mm -hmm. and you're anxious dude yeah. you're there well, there's so many pretty girls there's so many yes. pretty smells dude there and, were and a lot i know of my girls. blake anderson's getting a little uh -huh. flustered uh -huh. and so you just go in these bathrooms and just yeah i'll be like light them up yeah, 
Well, it was it was like connected to a mall, so you would kind of use. Was this like at the, Sun Valley? Where were you? No, what, what? There's some mall in Walnut Creek that it was at. It was like you know. Oh, like Broadway mm. Plaza. It's like yeah, there yeah, the outdoor mm. mall. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. I was, I was, I was. It was such a nervous time for me that I hardly remember <laughs> where I was. It was a lot yeah. of pressure. It was like all <laughs> girls and me. And, you know, I just, I feel like I had a lot of zits at the time. And it just was like, it was really, <laughs> this is it was good. really scary for me. Well, there's a, there's makeup <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. You were, you were kind of a scared. Uh, yeah. You, you're in the right place for zits. <laughs> I feel like I had zits. I wonder how I could cover these well, up. Well, that's why I felt super self conscious about my skin because we're like literally working in a makeup shop. So I was like, oh, God. Yeah. Don't worry. Those girls were painted up like clowns. And so you were like, hey, so so wh how, exactly how does this foundation work? Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, what do I right. do? <laughs> I don't remember you being that zitty in, in college. Well, I, um, I don't know. You were a zitty boy? Pizza face Anderson? <laughs> well, I feel like all of us had some zits when we first met each other. You yeah. know, zits were still. I guess we did. Hormones were raging still. Mm. But, you know, not. I don't think any of us had particularly horrible acne. But Blake is a, just a very anxious young man, you know? He was. <laughs> yeah, and also, you know. <laughs> I thought he was a very oily young <laughs> grease ball. <laughs> He's a very oily, greasy young man. <laughs> oh, no, we did. Because, Adam, I used to borrow your Stridex pad and shit i remember we used to do that oh uh, yeah i had stride x pads oh man those were so bad for you those mm -hmm. just used yeah. to torture your skin it was bad uh -huh. <laughs> well, yeah torture them light them up but i also feel like you know when you're when you're young you, you're just like you do see one worst. zit you think it you think it's the end of the world and it's not everybody just you know leave them alone you'll get through it your skin starts to balance out and it's true you just have mm. to have a better routine mm. with your face and stuff like that and i used to get like I never got like zits, zits, but I would get like razor bumps. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, dude. I used to. I would get like a rowdy fucking white head that would just. Be, I like, used to get like zits, but that mm -hmm. like on my dick and like open <laughs> sores and stuff. Oh, right, right. Uh, yeah. Do tell. Do tell. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah, just like just and the, they would it would flare up and stuff. Uh, okay. Oh, you've, you've got the floor. Go ahead. Right. Yeah. Did so you, you guys did have that? Yeah. O open sores. Tell me a little bit more about the open open sores. <laughs> I don't know if Sephora. <laughs> I don't know if Sephora sold uh, any kind of makeup for that. Yeah, so I go into Sephora and just dip my dick in uh, in uh -huh. a bunch of. Like he's back. He's back. Uh, foundation. <laughs> Are these free samples? <laughs> Dude, it's hey, over sir, there. your fucking mascara. <laughs> <laughs> Stop closing. Stop closing that compact on your dick, sir. Uh, I'm a dude. Sir? Uh, I, I gotta take a shit. <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry. I always have to take it there. Sorry. Just trying to cover this zit on my dick. <laughs> That's it. I gotta take a shit. <laughs> Is there that was one of my favorite things in workaholics when like <laughs> just trying to think of a funny way to like exit a scene and just well I gotta take a shit and then you just exit. <laughs> Wait, this is a serious question. Do they have like cock makeup? Do they have makeup for your nether regions? Well, I mean I think it's just makeup. Yeah, it's just makeup. Right? I don't think it's specific for you don't think they have specific oh, but you mean has anybody specifically like capitalized on yeah. this and within the business world? Oh, Oh, might be a hole in the market. Yeah, sure. If not for the porno industry. Well, we got to talk to our friends over at Dude Wipes and <laughs> see if maybe I'm a know, dude. We can add some like coloring to the to the wipes. Yeah, so you're not you're right. not wiping things off. You're smearing things on. I love dude centric products. They're very cool. Uh, dude, Did remember Doctor ever... Pepper Ten? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> remember yeah. it. The fact that they pivoted away from that is the saddest. <laughs> it was such an insane campaign where it's like Dr. Pepper 10. It's for men. Yeah, right. And I'm like, there's I'm a dude. never, never, ever will we go back to a time where <laughs> a corporation decides to market yeah. things only for men. Uh, I don't know. There might be a yeah. bear. There well, dude wipes. You just talked about dude wipes. <laughs> I feel like there's a beer that's going to be around the corner that's really like excludes everyone except men. They're like, this beer is for men. Oh, well, that will be my hey. beer. Yeah. And then, then we'll, <laughs> and then we'll drink it because that's hilarious. Do we want to talk about 
how we did an episode of have we talked about this on workaholics we did a whole episode where the guys are like obsessed with dr pepper pepper 10 and this was in the making sure no women in the office were drinking it yeah because the ad campaign in right. real life was dr pepper 10 it's for right men. so yeah. we were like policing making sure women were drinking it it's ours because <laughs> of course we finally have something that's ours right yeah. our characters are Slapping it out of their hands like Britney Spears at Catch, baby. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Get them. We were reading like, him? a review of the episode, and it was just like fucking <laughs> giving us the hardest time for like such an sellout. obvious uh, like ad. Like, like sellout. <laughs> yeah, look at these guys. Yeah. Promo thing. And we're like, we didn't get paid any money. <laughs> no, Nothing. No, dude. We didn't get paid a dime. From Dr. Pepper 10. It was completely story based. They they backed the truck up on us. <laughs> yeah, I wish. I wish no, not would. even. It was just so <laughs> absurd. Yeah. yeah. Although, what did I watch the other day? Someone posted the like old Carl's Jr. where we're like, nice buns. Yeah. Yeah. We snuck that in. <laughs> and she's like, what'd you say? And like, that was in an episode where some girl punked us at like pretzel buns at Carl's Jr. <laughs> was it, wasn't it? Was it pretzel buns? I think it was. <laughs> it Sourdough. <laughs> nice, lumpy buns. <laughs> I'll suck, I'll suck the brown off. Ooh, I wouldn't mind licking the salt off those. <laughs> wouldn't mind licking the salt off those buns. This was a dialogue from our show. I want to yeah. lick the brown off your buns. And then she's like, what the fuck what are you talking about? You you no, no, this, the sandwich. She was cool. <laughs> yeah, and that was a Carl's Jr. sponsored. Every once in a while, we would do something. Because we, really, we didn't have that much money to make our show. So anytime uh, we wanted to do any um, stunt, we yeah. couldn't afford to do it. We had to get creative. Uh, We'd have to go sip the sip the tea of Jack Link's jerky. Wait, what was the triple the triple thick burger that bit that you guys had to do, or was like the bacon the triple 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 bacon double cheese? Oh yeah, trip. Yeah, what well, was that a real? That was real sponsorship. Beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we thought it would be. It was really hard to say, and so yeah. we were like yeah. triple thick bacon <laughs> bubble. What's yeah. funny? Wouldn't it be funny if you guys kept casually saying it back and forth to each other? And it was like funny on the page. And then on the date, it was like hard. Fuck this. Like, we're not. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. This is so stupid. And we're like, they're going to send us $150,000 towards the budget. We got to do it. Yeah. You actually, we're, we're kind of tied to the bit. Yeah. We have to do this to shoot the end of this episode. Yeah. We signed a contract and now we do have to say this over and over again. Ready? I think it's the Wendy's Swiss Melt Triple Thick Burger. Triple bacon, <laughs> double cheese, mushroom. I'm, it was a Swiss. It was a Swiss. It was a mushroom Swiss melt triple something burger. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> I remember it being impossible <laughs> for us to say and like to casually say in a conversation. We were like, "This is fucking stupid." Yeah, yeah. I always, whenever I have a hard time with a line of dialogue, I. Uh, I say this is fucking stupid. And we should, <laughs> you blame we should the writers? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, every time, every time. Yeah, this is so stupid. Who wrote this shit? Yeah, it's real mouthful. I, yeah, this is so dumb. This is so stupid. It's just because I can't uh, wrap my brain around saying it. Uh, yeah. Sorry. To <laughs> uh, Adam, it's the crux of the film. We just need you to say that. Uh, yeah. So stupid. It's so, your, he's your father. But, uh, so he's no. your father, not a fat so her. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it. You keep saying fat her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you keep saying fat her. Okay, it's I got on this one. I got on this one. You guys, he's my fat her. Okay, well, that's how you would say it. Jesus. And are you the actor? Are you the actor? Okay, right. I didn't think so. Yeah, I'm the yeah you're uh, in a courtroom scene and you keep calling the judge Honor. <laughs> <laughs> you're honor. And then Listen, it's you're like, honor. It's just a little confusing. Is it funny? It's funnier. Seems like it's funnier. This is a drama, yeah. Adam. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it funnier that I say, say you're you're a hornor? Yeah. This is the OJ Simpson show. <laughs> this, this is this the OJ Simpson show. <laughs> Who the fuck was his uh lawyer? Johnny Cochran? Mm -hmm. Tonight on the O.J. Simpson show. Yeah. Oh, I'm playing Johnny Cochran in this uh, rendition, Blake. No, you're Kardashian. You're definitely Kardashian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. that booty? I don't even know if I'm that. Yeah. Uh -huh. did, did Robert, no, not Kim. I know. I'm saying. I was going to say, did Robert Kardashian have like a backyard on him? Did he? Well, dude, they, that, that whole family bought their backyards. I know, I know. I know. Yeah, those aren't real backyards. You're saying the Kardashian butts are not real. 
Yeah, no. There's there's no real. They're not. Yeah, they're, they're not. not. What? No. Blake. They're not. I think that's the one building block of them. Like they are butts, and then I they know. form around the butt. Blake. But I know they claim Buddy. that, but I don't. I don't think that that's. Uh, it's a real I think flip. they claim it, but I don't think that's real, Bam. <laughs> I mean, I'm so disappointed in you. Unless you we mean? saw old clips of Robert Kardashian running around like that one dude in the super tight shorts who Adam used to talk about. Dude, I love that guy. I love that guy. Oh, yeah, that dude is great. Who's on like the yacht with the big booty? Um, yeah, where he's like, he's like training on the yacht and yeah. he has like yeah. security. And then, do uh, you know what we're talking about, right, Blake? Yeah. Yes, the, yes, the yes, guy yes, that yes, runs yes, everywhere yes, in those yes, tight, yes, yes. Those tight yeah. shorts. Yes, 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 yes. In the, the, ca- ML- in the khakis. He, yeah. yeah. No, he's but dude, honestly, video. I did no think. No but. No but, I, dude. I thought for sure the Kardashians, like, that was the, the thing on them. No, no, no. They all look wildly different than what they used to look like. They all are fully. With the exception of Kendall is the only one who's normal or no? Mm. And uh, But it, it is a muscle and you can you can work it out, right? You could work your ass out to get yeah, to yeah, that. Yeah. What work out your butt? Yes, absolutely. Yes, Kyle. But it's science. Okay, all right. I'm just yeah. asking. I'm just asking. <laughs> Why? Because what? You need a regiment? <laughs> what if Kyle starts to get a fucking? Yeah, you you want me to write you something <laughs> up, dog? Uh, I don't know. You know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what if Kyle gets a fucking donker in the back? That would be. Oh, I, I just what, assumed it were Blake, implants. But, Blake, you've seen the like before and after next to each other of like. Yes, and I. I do know that, like, with, as far as their faces go and stuff like that, but like, I've producers, please help us out here. Let's get some Kardashian before and after photos going. I felt like the butt was like, yeah, something that they, you know, worked out, but also, you know, the the building blocks for good ass right. was was there. But do you think that they're honest about it? Do you think they're honest? That's that's where oh, I kind of well. run into a little bit of a like, uh, I don't know, dilemma. Mm. Like, of course they want it to be. Yeah, it's real, but is it real, Bam? <laughs> Would you do <laughs> that? Like, butt holes. If, if someone gave you a million dollars, but you could only use it to like Enhance. make over yourself, but you knew that if you made yourself super hot, handsome, cut, whatever, uh-huh. that you could use that to market it to make more millions, which is essentially what they've kind of done, right? Right. You're saying. Would you take the million? Take or would the you million? just be like, I'm good. And you work at like a gas station in this scenario. <laughs> Can I work at a Sephora? I don't think you can, <laughs> guys. We have uh, before we have before and after photos in in the chat. Please take a look. So, okay. uh, as you could tell, <sighs> they're they're changing very drastically. Mm-hmm. Well, well, but she's also look at right there. Uh, what's the youngest one? She's a child. There, you're gonna you're gonna develop beyond that. If she's like these are yeah, your nose is totally gonna. I mean, but Kim doesn't look. She looks wildly different. Uh, ch- she changed her makeup routine. It's it's um, what is it? Contouring. Okay, Blake. I love I love you, dude. It's it's contouring. Kendall looks wildly different. Yeah, she's the one. She took the cake. I mean, and by the way, great. Figured it out. I mean, they all look great. Jesus. Like nobody. People almost don't remember. That's the thing. And also, Kendall did a great job I don't because know she now is who super these people hot, are. and the others kind of look like um. Mutants. <laughs> Sorry, you're saying uh, Kylie or Kendall? <laughs> Kendall. Kendall's gorgeous. Kendall, yeah, she wins. She wins. How many yeah. of them are there? Also, oh. oh. <laughs> she added some stuff. She did some things. She did it right. Me neither. I've never really watched the show, but I remember I watched, um, I think I feel like I talked about this too, but like she was on like Great. Leno, like showing her sick old Corvette. And she was like very cool, and I was like, "Oh, she's cool too." Fuck. Yeah, right. yeah, they all rock, dude. No, they don't. Yeah. They're all freaking cool as hell. Are you kidding no. me? No, Chris God. Jenner. Chris Jenner rules. Hate that you like the the Kardashians, dude. <laughs> wow, dude. No, I'm into him. I'm fully on team car. These are just favorite super family. Go, Adam. Super favorite super family. Go, the Jetsons. Uh, the Osbournes. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, the Osbournes. Ooh, that's a good yeah. answer. Kyle. Kyle. The Hogans. Yeah. I was gonna say Hogan's. Oh, you really? You like racist Hogan's? <laughs> but I, I, I don't believe that. That was just the first one that came to my mind. I don't think. Yeah. I think I have to say the Coppolas, bro. The Coppolas, super family. Oh, great answer. Great. Um, yeah, that's it. I love it. 
Coppola's okay, yeah. A lot of lot of tendrils out into the Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Coppola's mm-hmm. baby. Are you gonna say the Bidens after uh, <laughs> after Hunter? Hunter. <laughs> My dog, dude. Hunter I love party I love that video of him like seeming <laughs> like he is on cocaine. <laughs> Yeah, and it just like dropped some footage of him like smoking crack while he's driving a car. That dude is, I, you gotta feel bad, dude. Come on, man. Dude, what a wild man. Goes hard. That guy is a go hard. I know, my God. Oh yeah, you you feel a little bad. Yeah, just help the guy. But almost like, do you almost, but then have you seen the the photo of uh, Don Jr. getting poly charged, but mm, Donald Jr. like get it. just posing in like a flannel shirt awkwardly against a log? Yes, yeah, that one made its rounds a while mm-hmm. ago. And you're like, smoke crack? I'd rather have my son be a crackhead. <laughs> Why? Why? Wait, why? Because uh, you're such a <laughs> pussy. Just taking this photo by yourself, awkwardly on a log, right. wearing I'm boots that you can tell that are so clean. He's never walked in the woods in his life. I'm like, right. this guy's oh, just major poser. Just yeah, okay. Poser, I haven't seen the photo. Dude. He's a poser, right? Yeah, right. right. Would you rather have a poser? <laughs> I'd rather. I'd rather you not be a poser and you're you smoke crack. Yeah. You're like an authentic drug say. addict. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I'd rather have that. Trust me, At least cool. you're authentic. Right, right. Yeah, all right. So you you want a rock star son who is in the you know, he's in the news for really bad stuff. You you're mm-hmm. supposed to be you're supposed mm-hmm. to be the president of the United States, <laughs> but your son is yeah. off the rails like it's a fucking dude, 90s movie. Off the <laughs> rails, dude. It's like it's wasn't that a movie with Michael Douglas where he's the president and his daughter is a full blown drug addict? That is a movie. Um, what oh. is is that Michael Douglas? What yeah. are you talking about here? What, I'm almost what positive. Is the, I have to see Dave, this movie. The movie is a bagel. Well, Dave, I, I like by the way, down. Dave, but Dave was like a uh, Dave was like a body double, right? Wait, wait, how is Dave a show and a movie? I'm just realizing now. <laughs> it's <laughs> great question. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit! You think it's, yeah, it's the called- same universe, Dave? Dave, see you. It's called the American President. The American President. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rob Reiner directed it. American president. Is that what that movie was about? And that's not Bullworth. That's that's a good title. Yeah. That's not Bullworth. Oh, I don't know what yeah. Bullworth was about. That is not Bullworth. No, it, it is right. a different right. movie. Mm-hmm. Yes. All those president movies. All right. No, that helps. Thanks. They kind of bleed together, all the president movies. And did you guys finally watch Carnal Knowledge? Tell me uh, how would you think? I didn't uh, uh, check can't. that one out unfortunately. Wait, can't did anyone did. Are, did you watch The Running Man, Adam? Come on. Come on. No, I haven't seen it yet. I'm sorry. That's a good. I was actually, we, we watched a movie last night and we watched Goldeneye just because, uh, you know, the, oh. the Outlaws is coming out and mm-hmm. I'm all excited for it. And uh, and Pierce Brosnan is obviously the star of Goldeneye 007. Yes, sir. And I realized I was like, dude, great bond. I don't know if I've, it was so long ago that I saw the movie that I don't even know anything about it. Mm. Really? I can quote. I, I can, love I it. I can quote every line. Because I because I saw it like probably in 1995. Yeah, Goldeneye. You know? Is that the one Goldeneye. where Boris is like? It's with Boris and he's clicking the pen. Yeah, so yeah. And he says, "I am invincible." Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, and then he freezes. Oh, sick. I mean, dude. yes. And then there's the that shit's cool. The sauna fight scene, which is dope. Just pure mm-hmm. hella sexy and it's, hell of that was very sexual. Yeah, yeah, it was so good. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Was that Femke Johansson? <laughs> oh, dude. Chloe was like, oh, Chloe hadn't seen it. And she was like, my God, movies in the 90s were so horny. Like, Mm -hmm. they would never make a movie this horny anymore because it was like wildly inappropriate. It's like everyone that James Bond works with, he's like trying to fuck. And he's like, or he has aggressively (laughs) hitting hitting on them. It's like, you've never had money. Penny's like, well, you've never had me if my memory is correct. Mm -hmm. And he's like, not yet. Well, that bleeds over from all the movies. And he goes, I, that's because I donkey punched you. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, what that's Bond their, was exceptionally Ron, Ron. horny, right? Bond, Bond is, was a horny guy. Bond dude. fucked, dude. That dude yeah. threw it down. The whole thing with him and Money Penny was kind of a little cat and mouse. Will they? Won't they? Baby, shag a devil. Right, right, they right, have, right. They have a hot, 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 hot. Yeah, but but are the new Bonds? I'm not a real Bond head. 
So Ooh. I don't really watch when a Bond comes out. I don't jump on it. Mm-hmm. But I know Blake does. Yes, I'm a fan. Are they? Are the new movies just as horny as the old movies? No. I feel like he's like no. more broken. action movies now, right? He's broken now. Yeah. yeah, it's more about like dissecting what it means to be like James Bond and like the people you love or you fall for die and like just like exploring like the sadness. You're like an island. You're like this island of a man. <clears throat> yeah, it's just like can never have a real relationship anytime yeah. you get involved. Well, like fucking Batman. Well, so that sucks. So he's not even, it's not even fun anymore. He's not just, yeah, it's no s- sort of like, like fucking Batman. Yeah. It's like Batman. Yeah. He's fucking dark Knight bond, but he's buffer than ever, which is pretty fucking cool. He's buffer than ever, which is tight. Yeah. 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 Because Pierce in that movie isn't, pretty, he's mm-hmm. not buff. He's no, just he's- like a, he's just like a handsome man. Lean. That wasn't what Bond was. Sean Connery wasn't buff when he did Bond either, right? He wasn't ripped beyond belief. He was just a fucking debonair yeah, homie. He's just he's just smooth. But but he could still beat everyone's he could still beat everyone's ass, dude. He just fucked the problem queen. <laughs> he's, just, he's just a fucking <laughs> badass. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck machine. Uh, yeah, it, it made me. It made me miss how horny movies in Blake's favorite decade, the nineties, yeah. were like well, really, right. really horny. I can get behind that. Maybe that's. I feel like that might be something that needs to be injected in films. Like we horny? should bring that back. Yeah, oh, yeah. Will. Why are we not? Why are we not being horny? Why? Are, why are we not allowing horniness? Well, it's because the internet. I don't know, dude. I feel like. The internet. Because you can't compete with the internet. Yeah, yeah. So what, all the horniness just has to happen by yourself on the internet? That sucks. That's not, that's a world I don't want to live in. Yes, and and then, and then you're, yeah, dude, and guess what? And you're shamed and you, I don't want to live there. People will go, if you made a movie like that, people would be chanting shame, shame, <laughs> right. shame. Bullet. And you're like, oh, you're never, I want to make that movie. I want to make that movie. Okay. I want a horny film. You're never horny. I would Fucking love, thing sucks. I would love to start in a movie where I'm really horny. Like the movie like the movie Shame or Shame? What was it called? Wasn't it called Shame? The Fastbender movie? Oh, I never saw that. I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. With Fastbender and then you yeah. saw like his like pretty big cock. His cock. Yeah, yeah. his big juicy. <laughs> pretty big. It was the size of a fucking I don't, pretzel. Was stick. it pretty? <laughs> no, he's saying it was pretty. <laughs> it, was, it was gorgeous. It was pretty and it was big. <laughs> that thing was a fucking pretzel. <laughs> Blake's trying to suck the brown off. Uh, I don't I don't I didn't see the movie, but I remember you guys just talking about in the workaholics uh, writers room his cock <laughs> for fucking down with the thickness that dude had a snyder snyder between his legs bro <laughs> That was the Zach. He had the Zach Snyder cut. Oh, motherfucker, roll gold. Was the Snyder cut? <laughs> I want to slide on the Snyder, if you know what I mean. Hey, was the Snyder cut or what? Yeah, it was the Snyder <laughs> cut? <laughs> Hang on, let me picture it. It was okay. Uh, right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, shame is very funny. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, but I would love. I'd love to be in a movie where where I'm just. Just also really horny. It doesn't even. And that's it, sort of the subtext. Not, shame is all about. I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen the movie, but I'm assuming it's it's all about his sexuality, right? It's all about his sexuality. I just it's like a, it's a sex addict. Adam, tell us what the movie you've never seen is about. <laughs> but shame, shame is about addiction. It's about sex addiction. It goes into right. the dark side. We don't want that. We want just fucking good, honest hornball. We're, this is just a fun movie where I'm mad horny the entire time. <laughs> right. Just a fun movie where I'm just. Yeah, you're trying to. You guys should fuck each other. <laughs> well, we kissed. <laughs> hey, if that's if that's what the story. If that's Very what the story psychedelic. deserves and needs. This and by the way, this is why you gotta see Carnal Knowledge. Yeah, kiss him on the live podcast. My favorite <laughs> actor. Wait, who's who's the most iconic horny character of all time? Austin Powers, baby. Very psychedelic. Okay. Yeah, Austin Powers is horny. <laughs> yeah. Austin Powers, pretty Very fucking horny. Shaggy and, Dylan. and dude, James Bond. Jonah Hill and uh, Jonah James Hill Bond. and Super Bad. Very horny. Right. Constantly yeah. talking about fucking. Yes, but that's like high school horny. That's high school okay, horny. That's so. a little different. We're talking. Isn't that the hor- horniest of horny right then and there? Well, yes, but I'm yeah, more impressed totally. when it's like a, a spy who has 
is still horny. He's he's seen the world. He's ate at all the best restaurants. He's still just horny as fuck sure. for money, Penny, sure. dude. It's like in Goldeneye, the plane. Uh, I'd forgot. I'd forgotten he ate at all the best restaurants. Sorry. In Goldeneye, uh, the train like blows up. They just almost died like twelve yeah. times in a row, and they're. It blew up seconds ago. Mm -hmm. Debris is still falling, uh -huh. and they're laying on the side of the train tracks, and they look at each other and just start making out. And I was <laughs> howling, dude. I'm like, that's the funniest yeah. thing. That's what gets like, him hard. That's the funniest thing in the world. But because like, knowing myself, yeah, I would. Right that there. wouldn't be what I would do in that moment. I'd be like, holy fucking shit, that was so crazy. We almost died. I shit my pants. I'd be covered in my own diarrhea. <laughs> but what's I wouldn't I wouldn't just make out diarrhea. with this woman I just met. What is the movie with the, it's like the Englishman or the gentleman or whatever where it's like a the English patient. Those those British agents and then he like saves the day. Oh yes, yes, yes. And he yes, like yes, yes. he's running to go save the day and he's she's like, You can't pull this off. You're not gonna save the world. And he goes, Yeah, how about if I do, I fuck you in the ass? And she's like, <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's the Kingsman. The Kingsman. And then he goes yeah. and saves the day hot. and before he does anything else, everyone's like, you okay? He's like, I'll be right back. Hey, like, uh, hang on. Give me 10 minutes. Yeah. He goes and finds her and he goes, I just saved the day. And she's like, all right, let's fucking do this. And then like the tech yeah. guy is like, oh, I'm, I've got the eyeball cameras on. I should. Am I looking at this? Am I like, <laughs> And then credits roll. And then credits roll, dude. And then credit the movie. No, I remember. Dude. I remember. Ends with him. And is that our? Is that the best movie that has come out in the past uh, ten years or so? It's the best ending. It was okay. It was well, all right. I liked that movie. That that was like that's still like extreme boundary pushing horny. We want just people who fuck. Yeah. All okay. right. Yeah, we just dude. want like right. Yeah, that's okay. that's right. That you're right, Kyle. Like lethal weapon saxophone horny. Yeah, dude. Yeah, like boobs are huge. So and fucking mm -hmm. Mel Gibson. I want, like I want, let's, it's, like I even want, Indiana Jones, where he's like, where does it hurt? And it's like right. Right here. And it's like, yeah, right here. What is that? Yeah, right I want I want it. Right there, that yeah. shit's sexy, dude. I want it to be horny's happening, and then you just cut to like a curtain. Oh, just kind of yes. in yeah, the wind. Like, exactly. It doesn't need to be graphic or gratuitous. You need to just pull up, you need to make the audience feel horny. Well, then you guys yeah. need to watch the movie well, yeah. Twins. Oh my god. I want I want people to be so horny in the audience, they just start whipping it out. Flicking the bean, cranking down, right, yeah. right there in their seats. You got to mm -hmm. watch the movie Twins. It gets super horny, dude. That's a really horny movie. The, what, whatever that woman's name is. Twins. I watched Twins recently. When does it get horny? Unbelievably hot. And the, like the like the nighty. Who, yeah, it's, she's sleeping in the oh. same room as Julian. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> oh right, right. Yeah. He's like nervous because he's never been with a woman. She's like. I'll take it from Well, here. maybe that was kind of like the the action star kind of went hand in hand with the the those horny moments because it was always like, you know, these 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 hulking males with their butts hanging out. Well, and we got to get back there. We got to get the the action stars to be a little hornier. But were they horny or did they just no, did they make everyone else horny and they were like, "Ah, I got to deal with this." And they made they they made everybody yes, they made everybody around them horny. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. So maybe 007 got into the nightmare of being a hot action hero and dealing with all the horniness around you. Exactly. I'm living yeah. that nightmare. It's very, it's very yeah, interesting. That's right. We broke that down. It's nuanced, and I'm glad that, yeah, I'm glad that the, <laughs> that we did that. I would like to thank, for my 4th of July party, uh -huh. I was like, uh -huh. I was, I was going to go buy, I always should buy, like, literally thousands and thousands of dollars of booze for people mm -hmm. to drink get on and yeah. i remember i used to be the face of captain morgan remember okay. when i used to do all those commercials yes, yeah. that's and right. diageo which is this huge company that owns okay. like every liquor brand okay they told me back in the day they were like if you ever need anything if you're having a party just hit us up and so mm -hmm. i was like oh fuck i gotta hit them up i hit them up they sent me so much booze mm. they sent me uh 36 bottles of Don Julio, 1942. They uh, sent me... Uh, damn. That could, you could fill a Nalgene with that. So many bottles, like something, 24 bottles of Kettle One. Holy shit. God. I got Tangeray, like cases of it. I got cases of Johnny Walker Black. Oh they my hooked God. it up so damn hard. So thank you, Diageo, okay. the, the liquor brand, for sending me all this free shit. It was the best. Thank you, God. And by the way, if you guys have a party, just know that I'm going to be coming with 
bottles of Tangeray, <laughs> just <laughs> handles of Tangeray ready to, wow, to get. Wow, dude. Is Diageo yeah. horny? <laughs> dude, I think <laughs> I with that amount of segue. alcohol, anyone gets a little horny. Yeah, yeah. You're, they're horned up. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you to them. I guess it's, yeah, you get revved up. You get revved oh, up. Oh, yeah. That's a good, and maybe some giveaways to come with those. Yeah, probably some giveaways yeah. uh, of specifically the uh, Tangeray. So yeah. Some of the Tangeray, because I do not drink gin, but there's a whole lot of it. Gin, gin is tough. If mm-hmm. you meet somebody who's a gin guy, it's like. Like a beef eater, bro. Beef eater, beef eater is a really yeah, good one. Sucked around <laughs> off. Mm, well, this is Tangeray. It's not beef eater. It's that's a different company. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. My dad sorry, is I'm a gin a... drinker. I guess he was. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, buddy. I heard it. I heard it gets you freaking torqued up, dude. Gin's crazy. Yeah, dude. It's alcohol. Yeah, I drank it in college. Yeah, like a gin and tonic. Um, and I just want to give. <laughs> I want to uh, apologize to pretzel buns. I'm sorry if I came at you so hard. I mean, it's yeah, we were all a little offended by that. Yeah, yeah. it's it's my bad. I think we kind of started off with like the ketchup talk. Was that this week? And it just yeah. kind of it, yeah. it, it just derailed from there. Nobody knows. I can't remember last week. Oh uh, yeah, but pretzel buns they're not so bad. I like them. I'm yeah. I'm stoked that we're all Heinzmen. I'm I'm really stoked about that. That's Me a good too. thing for our crew. I'm I'm happy too. Yeah. And that was this week. For a second, I didn't know. I didn't know. And uh, I think that was this week. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. And I, I didn't know that we were or that I was. And I'm so happy when I looked Me in that too. fridge and mm-hmm. there was the Heinz right there. I, I was like, I'm part of the team. Thank God. Yeah, staring at this it. Is very satisfying. Welcome. Oh, this is like, that's a moment of gratitude. You're one of the 57. Yeah, yeah. this is a moment of gratitude. Yeah. yeah, moment of gratitude. 57 strong. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys had Heinz 57? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the one we, that's the one we have, right? No, Heinz 57 is like a very specific sauce. Yeah. Well, no, Heinz 57 is a steak sauce. It's like a steak sauce. I thought that was called 57 sauce. It's Heinz 57. I think so you could you could right. call it 57 sauce, but but I thought it's all Heinz 57. Yeah, I thought Heinz 57 was also ketchup. Yeah, me yeah. too. Heinz 57 is is the one that's kind of orangish and says in giant numbers 57 on it. 57. 57, and Heinz is the brand. It's zippy, kind of tangy. Oh, I don't know that one very well. Oh wow, I do know it pretty well. What are you? You could. What, what, what are you guys talking about? It's a steak sauce. It's. It's. You well, either are an A one boy or you're well, a Heinz fifty seven man. I feel like Heinz is more for. Or you're a fucking Worcestershire dude. Or I'm you're a Worcestershire, Worcestershire guy. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or teriyaki. Or once you start to have g- good enough steaks, then you hopefully aren't smearing steak sauce all over. Well, I. That being yeah. said, I still like the A one. And what is the horniest steak sauce? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> A1, for sure. I will suck A1 off a pretzel, bro. By the way, it's weird that we grew up We grew up eating steak with, with A1. If you had it, you're like, well, I got to get the A1. Mm-hmm. And then you, you get it. us to a certain age and you're like, I'm ruining my steak with A1. Right? Well, I think what it is is you start to eat a little. My family, we ate garbage meat. And uh, we had to have the <laughs> the, the the steak sauce, the sauce. all over it, mm-hmm. uh, the sauce. Yeah, and you go to nicer restaurants, and they kind of look at you funny if you ask for a one, and you're like, eh. I don't like. But that. that being said, I still have a one. I love it. Yeah, don't. I'm I not saying a one's bad. Don't sauce shame. But I, I am saying like. I don't want to ruin a steak. Like it become it, yeah. it becomes obsolete it. after a certain point in your life. I think it. I think it enhances. I would put it on a burger. Okay. Yeah, it's good on burgers. I put A1 legal? on quite quite a lot of things. I actually really do love A1. Do you keep it in your purse, Adam? I haven't had A1 in so long. Is there like a smoky flavor? I do. I always have it with me. It's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. I don't like sauce shaming. <laughs> my mom, I remember my she would buy the knockoff A1 sauce, and she used to, my dad, we didn't have a lot of money growing up, and but he was like, "We're we're gonna have a one in this goddamn house." And my mom's that like, "Absolutely." Important. And then she'd buy the cheap knockoff shit and then put it in the a one. That's and fire. like I saw her do it, so I knew this was happening. And my mm-hmm. dad never knew, never mm-hmm. knew. Years and years, he was wow. Well, I hope he's not listening. And you know, she never like changed the bottle, so it's just like the same. It like it expired like in in nineteen eighty nine. It's the same bottle. 
Uh, still and good. it's 1994, yeah. it's still and good. he's still he's still using it. Never looks at it. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about a twist. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Um, Die betrayal. That's a betrayal. Are we in the apology? Is this the end? Yeah, this yes, is the end. Let's get the yeah. f- out of here. I, I feel like, and we probably should have said this last week, based on when these things air. But um, I just want to apologize to Dish Walla. We didn't make it out to the show. Wow. Oh, fuck. oh man. Uh, Damn, we didn't. That's fucked up. I ended up having a thing. Um, yeah, I and couldn't, think. couldn't. I'm sure I couldn't think. make it. Uh, but yeah, um, feel sucks. free to shoot us a message. Uh, yeah, and a lot. Uh, we we can talk about our thoughts. Big on shout God. out to Dishwalla, yeah, always huge shout out. We love that. <laughs> huge huge <laughs> uh, Walla heads. Uh, I, I'm actually, kind of bummed. I feel like something magical Dishman could have happened. Would have, would have, mm-hmm. and could have happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was that in Ojai? Was it in Ojai? If I remember correctly, it was in ba- Blake's favorite place, Ojai, um, California. The Something Bowl yep. in Ojai, California. I love it. That would have been place. a sick show, guys. Yeah. I bet it was dope. It would have been. I'm bummed I missed it. Bummed I missed it. Well, it's this It's this Saturday. I think you you guys are available. I couldn't make yeah, it. Yeah, I might be there. Yeah, I'm gone. I'm out. Oh, it's in like two days? You know, yeah. I'm go, I'm hosting. I'm not hosting, but I'm oh, playing shit. in the Major League Baseball um, Celebrity All-Star Game. But what oh, sucks. That's awesome. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? Yeah. You do it. Super excited about it. But what sucks Wait, is my hip is all that's fucked so up. Sick. I cannot run and I ooh. cannot twist. So I'm going to be. Pinch runner. Let me be your runner, dude. Bring in a. a I'm going to be like just a uh, a coach or some shit. I don't, I don't even know how they're going to uh, use me. Let me be your runner. Fuck, Adam. It might be worth it to just. Yeah. Just if you hit a home run and then just died. Yeah. I feel like that's <laughs> worth it. If your body just exploded on the mound, dude, I wouldn't. I don't even know if I my I would be able to torque my body hard enough to get the. Oh, bunt! It's funny, bunt. It'll bunt. be funny, but then bunt. you have to motor. You have to motor after a bunt. But then, but then the running, dude. I'm in bad shape. I'm gonna have surgery in just a few weeks. So like, I uh, I can't. Well, you're gonna, they're gonna and put you on a third base I coach. You're gonna be a fucking third base coach. Yeah, yeah dude. And I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get fights. I'm gonna yell at the ump. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna kick. Dirt. Actually, that's gonna be, cool. be great. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. That'd be cool. Where yeah, is I love it? it? It's in Seattle. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll fly up there, dude. I'm very, very jealous of this, Adam. The space needle hit me up, which was kind of yeah. tight. Like the space needle Instagram handle I was like, yeah. "Yo, what's up." Roll oh, through. You, you better get a dinner. I'm there. Really so I better, I better roll through this, that space needle. That's always a good time. You better tell him to bring the principal. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Bring that fucking. Yeah, I'm going to deep throat some uh, mini tickle. pretzel sticks in the space needle. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's, what, that's what I'm going to be uh, doing this weekend. Um, you know, spreading the good word of the outlaws coming out. It already is out by it's the time out, this, baby. Uh, it's out at, uh, yeah. Yep, it's it's four weeks. It's been out for four weeks, I think. But Adam, no, to keep the weeks. press train rolling, like <laughs> I think our episode of Family Feud is now. I, no one, I'm we're in the dark here. I don't know, dude. No on. one, yeah, who dude, is telling us about Family Feud? No one has told me when the hell it's airing. It, it should be. Good. I'm seeing posts of other episodes with like the the fucking Bumblebee Girl Show, Yellow Jackets. Like they're oh, all. Okay. I'm seeing posts. Naked yeah. Grandma. Oh, really? Really? Well, damn. Yeah. So well, I hope we don't let us it. know when our episode is coming because uh, I would come in because yeah, uh-huh. I would love to tell the people when we came. Yeah. Okay. Naked Grandma! The show. So pay attention out there. It's coming on. It'll be on. I'm going to come. Steve Harvey. It's very, very funny. I love it, guys. It's a funny, funny app. Yeah. I can't wait. I think that's going to be great. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. I'm going to come. Another episode of Dwindle. It is important. Important. Hell yeah.